University of Arkansas might have the toughest schedule in all of football. Because if you look at how the SEC schedule was made up, like, my goodness. Like, I want to pull this up right quick because I don't think we have enough conversations about how difficult Arkansas schedule is outside the state of Arkansas. I realize that there's some dudes in Arkansas right now that are making it happen over there. And they're talking about this team. And they're going, who did Sam Pittman piss off? Who did Hunter Yurchek piss off? for us to get this schedule? It's a good question, because they open September 26th with number four, Georgia. Goodness me. They're at Mississippi State for the Mike Leach experiment, or experience, I should say. And then you got the grad, the grad transfer and K.J. Costello at quarterback. Also, Kylan Hill at tailback. Might be one of the best tailbacks in the SEC this year. Auburn at... You got at Auburn, Right? Number 11. Then you're versus Ole Miss. Then you got to travel to College Station to play Texas A&M. You get Tennessee at home. You got to travel to Gainesville to take on Florida. You get LSU at home. Travel to Missouri and finish with Alabama. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ranked opponents for Arkansas. Might be the toughest schedule in history, quite honestly. Because Ole Miss and Mississippi State could certainly end up ranked. Missouri with Eli Drinkwitz has that in them. And those are your unranked opponents, right? Everybody else you face is ranked. And that's four teams, five teams. One, two, three. Four teams in the top ten. Yeah, man. If they are able to snatch a, snatch a pelt from one of these teams that's ranked, Texas A&M, Tennessee, Great. If they're able to get one off of Florida, LSU, Alabama, or Georgia, that's a win for me if I'm Sam Pittman. That's a win for me if I am Arkansas. That's what we want. Chunk this entire season if you're Arkansas, but like if you get Felipe Franks running that veer and shoot with Kendall Bryles, you understand what you have in the backfield. You understand what Trey Knox and Trey Burke are going to do. Barry Odom's new 425 with Levi Draper, Bumper Pool, my dude, Miles Slusher back there with Jalen Catalan. They could surprise some people. So let's go with the teams from Arkansas as my sleeper picks there in Arkansas State and the University of Arkansas. See what else we got in here. Hmm. I mean, if the rankings don't mean nothing, Freddie, then what the hell are you doing here? Leave. Get the hell out. We're having a good time. You know, we're acting as if, you know, there's football that's going to be played. Shut up. I uh, think five is fair. Steve, no, five is not fair to Oklahoma. You don't even know. <sighs> Spencer Rattler threw 11 passes last year. Like, I just want them to earn it. It's not that they can't earn it. I just want them to do it. Preseason number five? All right, here's the thing. Oklahoma might start preseason number five. It'll be wild interesting to see if they end preseason number, or end the season at number five, even with the Pac-12 and the Big Ten not playing football. Because you really take one loss in the Big 12, I could just as easily see this becoming the SEC Top 25, right? Where they 10 teams in the Top 25. Because you're talking about them, and maybe if, if Clemson took a loss, right? So nine teams in the Top 25? Like, come on, man. Be real about it. Let me see. Uh, I got a segment on the crystal ball stuff coming up at, at 3 this afternoon, so I'm not going to get into that. Appreciate that, Wendell. Let's see. Uh, do good teams that are not playing in the fall move down to the bot uh, bottom 25 of the AP? No, I doubt it. Because they're after this week, they're just not going to consider them at all. Like I answered that question. Matter of fact, see if the chat had caught up with me. Let me see. Could there potentially be two ACC teams in the playoff UNC goes undefeated in the regular season and has a competitive loss to Clemson in the ACC championship game. It's possible, but that's kind of the thing about this year that I find to be the most interesting. Anything is possible, and I can almost guarantee we're going to have more than one national champion. Like, Ohio State might hang the banner right now. Why not? What would stop them? Now, if they went into the spring, they played their conference schedule among each other, and they have two losses, it's not going to be such a great look. Let's see. Too bad they don't play Vanderbilt. Yeah, like Arkansas fans got to be like, hold up, how come we don't get to play Vanderbilt? <laughs> uh, ooh, we got a sick in here. Okay. 
Uh, I mean, like, if you're just going to come in here to talk about whether or not we might play football or not, I feel like you can get out because I've been making that segment every day. Like, that's not contributing to the chat. Don't be that dude in here. Right? Flame over here with that Arkansas. Good Lord, that schedule. Yes. Yes, exactly. Good Lord, that schedule. That's the problem. You know? Like, it's an absolute problem. It's wild. I don't, I would not have drawn this up. Not this way. I would have asked for a redo. Been like, nah, man, you must be crazy. This, this can't be that. This cannot be that. Uh-uh. Let's not. Anyway, um, goodness me. Whoa. All right, what else we got in here? Du, 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 du. Let's see. I'm an OU fan, but RG always speaks facts about OU, whether it's us fans like it or not. This is true. I'm not in the sunshine pumping business. It's not what I do. Arkansas wide receivers are free in beast mode. I mean, compared to who, though? Compared to other wide receivers in the SEC? Nah. Not, not really. Compared to wide receivers at Oklahoma? Nah, I mean, it depends on who you're compared to. Like, if you're comparing to Vanderbilt, then congratulations, you're better than Vanderbilt. At this point, your Pop Warner team should be better than Vanderbilt. It's just what it is. Let's see, Corey, a uh, member on the channel, appreciate that. So, how many wins is a successful year one in Fayetteville? That's a very good question. I think it's got to be, like, two. Right? Like, look at this schedule. The weakest teams on this schedule are Mississippi State, Ole Miss, and Missouri. Every last one of those teams, I would trust to win eight games in their first year. Like, Lane Kiffin's got dudes. Mississippi State's got dudes. Eli Drinkwitz knows how to scheme. Like, I would just expect that. They're bowl eligible. Every single team on Arkansas' schedule is bowl eligible in a normal year. Like, that's how good they are. So if you win two of those games, win. Absolute win. But it, let's act like Arkansas was also going to have Nevada and Notre Dame on their schedule. Like, they were supposed to travel to South Bend to play this year. And that game got scrapped. It's wild, man. All right. Let's get to some takeaways from, you know, the statistical landscape of the top 25 preseason rankings. So, the thing that is also going to incense Ohio State fans the most here is that they trailed Clemson in the voting by 16 points. They're number two by a margin of 16 points. When the winning score is 15-20. Man, I'd be upset if I was a Buckeyes fan. I'd be pissed. 